All right. So here is what we got today. And just finishing up this 740cc pump gas, trail build, trail monster, what have you. This is a 6 mil stroker with a Gorilla Rod. It is a proprietary setup of ours with uh, custom pistons to match. This particular one here is on pump gas. It is on uh, clear fuel or non-ethanol uh, pump premium 92. It is running, we'll take a look, here is the last uh, three poles and a little variation here. The last pull here at 70.01 horsepower, 55 foot pounds of torque. Nice broad power curve. Take a look here. Conservative on tune. Uh, the 71 horsepower pull was more of a cold uh, run. And there we have a nice uh, clean curve there. Fairly uh, conservative on air fuel ratio. 12.9 uh, on that blue run. So, what does this build consist of? Well, coming off a brand new bike. We are getting a six mil crank. We're getting a piston. We are getting one of our uh, plus one head packages. As you can see, we got some engraving there on the head. Um, head package is larger valve, spring kit, rock arm work, one of our 5050 uh, billet camshafts. Um, Porting chamber work, basically everything in the head gets redone. Swivel rockers. That is a major part of what is making power here. Now you can get close to this horsepower range on a stock or stock cr crank, but that six mil really gives it a broad power curve and gives it all the torque. So. Besides engine stuff, we got a Power Commander 6. We got a Fuel Customs intake. We have a plus three throttle body bore. And this one has the uh, Monster Standard Length system on it. If we go with the Shorty, it'll make a little bit more peak power. Moves the power curve around a little bit. Um, clutch kit. I do recommend a lockout clutch kit for the torque that this one's making. On the um, stock crank, you can kind of get away with uh, just a heavy duty clutch upgrade, but we do recommend lockout for this. Depends on what you're doing with it and a lot of other factors. But um, lockout clutch kit, we do have our custom brake pedal to work with that. Got proper adjustment there. We do have our early on fan control. Um, AAS plate on the head. As far as um, any other mods, fairly simple. You see all stock, swing arm, chain, all of those components. So bikes with a swing arm and a non-o ring chain will pick up a little bit in power from reduced uh, rolling resistance there. But that is about it. Make sure to give us a call. We've got keychains here now. Um, and we will set you up. As, as far as money cost wise, it really depends. Costs have been jumping all over the place, but if you're gonna bring us a bike and do a project in this range, putting a good rod in it and doing some extra components, um, it's gonna be in the eight plus range to get something like this done. Um, the owner of this bike's gonna do the suspension and all the other add-ons. So there's a lot of stuff that is not completed out on this particular build, but we are, finished on the engine side. So 
that is what we have today. If you're interested in a build like this, give us a call. We will set you up with parts or bring it in-house and do the build here is always an option. We are quite a ways out on engine builds right now. So these are uh, long-term planning to get these done as far as uh, parts availability and time in the shop goes at the moment. So plan ahead a little bit if you're getting a new bike. So I'm excited to see what he does on this build with it all completed out, washed up, cleaned up, shined up, and should be, uh, should be looking good here. So that is what we have for today. Um, last thing is this sitting on a 15 tooth with a 21 inch rear tire. Guys always ask mile an hour. That's about 110 plus mile an hour uh, gearing potential. Whether it does that or the owner wants to actually push it that hard, that is what uh, the gear setup will do. So, all right, that is it. Take care. Give us a holler if you want some go fast parts for your 700. Thank you.